Okay, I'd like to tell you about my 1966 Corvair. I have uh, done a crown conversion. The Looking at it straight on the front, you can see that it has a Garvin spoiler. It has a steel center section that's been molded into the body. The front air scoops are functional. And as we walk around the car, you can take a look at what we have. The car has many light wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, front and rear sway bars, functional side scoops, and it has a functioning trunk. Seems to be adequate for what is asked to be done. The front and rear bumpers are fiberglass. The exhaust system from the headers back is uh, 304 stainless steel. Um, a few words about the nameplate. Originally this car was, the model was a Corsa and I decided that I could make letters from that C-O-R-S-A into my last name, S-I-A-N-O, which is pronounced Siano. I used the S, which was there. The I came from the vertical part of the R in Corsa. The A was already there. The N I made out of part of the R and a little bit of the A, and the O was already there. I cast it. Got it chrome plated, and there it is. The cooling is handled by a Ron Davis radiator. Functions very, very well. The thermostats are uh, are the, control the fans, and the coolant temperature never exceeds the um, thermostat setting. Okay, the engine that's currently in the car is a block that was cast in 1959. It's an aluminum 283 cast by GM and it was cast with, I believe, the intention of exploring the possibility of putting uh, aluminum engines in some of the Corvettes in that era. For whatever reasons, that did not happen. The uh, crankshaft is forged. The rods are Chevrolet pink rods. The pistons are hyper eutectic, 40 over. The lifters are roller. The rockers are roller. The heads are uh, Chevrolet bow tie angle plug heads. The manifold is a moon manifold with Weber 48 IDA carburetors used as much aluminum as possible. The attempt was to try and make a car that was um, a combination of a muscle car that handled a little dragster and um, the, it turned out very very well. I sometimes wonder what would have happened had GM put some effort into um, making a vehicle like this because all of the parts that are in this car were available at that time. Had they made um, a mid-engine Corvair, it would have uh, been probably a very, very sought after car then and now. It handles wonderfully. The uh, transaxle is the stock Corvair with two additional spider gears to handle the extra torque. Uh, it, it really is uh, a great car. Okay, uh, let's take this thing for a ride. And uh, once the engine starts, it's not a good car for conversation. This is not a practical car. I, it probably needs uh, an engine cover, but maybe someday, but not yet.
it is a little like flying in an open cockpit airplane if you've ever had that experience um, it's all about the uh, involvement of the car when uh, you start off hard you smell the rubber you're very involved in the engine sounds and for a car guy it's a symphony if you're not a car guy and into engine sounds it makes a lot of racket Thank you.